So today is the solstice, the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere. And earlier in the day, the sun was right directly overhead. And it's really fascinating for me, the path of the sun when it's in these longer days in June around the solstice, because it literally just wraps around us. Normally when it's, you know, the, uh, the, the shorter times of the, you know, the season would be the, the winter solstice, right? When it's the shortest days. And that's when the sun is, the path is beyond the tree and then the, it goes, you know, onto the west. But this time of the year, it's curling around us. It's literally doing a circle. So, I mean, really the, the sun, the sky, the constellations, the moon, it's all a giant coordinated clock a divine timepiece that, you know, you can talk about the flat earth, you can talk about um, how water does not bend and always finds its level, and there's a lot of, lot of good information there, but really comes down to just watching the path of the sun, and this is really what the ancients did with their pyramids and stuff, it was, it was they were able to calculate that, you know, on this time, this day, the sun will be here, it has a coordinated path. It's not some random uh, thing where we're, we're flying through space at astronomical speeds, what, 6,666 miles an hour? And uh, we are just, you know, sort of out of control and of an accident from the Big Bang. No, actually everything revolves around us and, and the, the path of the sun at this time of the year is a giant circle and you could see it. I mean, it's always a circle, right? But there's a track, there's an inner track and then there's the equator where it's in the middle, and that's, that's the, the equinoxes, and then uh, the solstice is, you know, this, the winter solstice, it's on its outer track, and then summer solstice for us is on the inner track. And so it's just constantly, it's like, it's like one, the, the path of the sun is like just one big spiral. And if you can visualize it, visualize it it's really interesting, because now we're on the inside track spiral, and so it's, wrap it around on the inside and that's why we have these longer days. So I'm gonna do a time lapse here so we can visualize this. We've been taught the globe model since before we had the ability to think for ourselves. Think about that. Before you could think for yourself, before you could form rational thought, you've been taught that you live on a spinning ball, although your five senses tell you something totally different. Our senses tell us that the earth is flat and stationary, that the sun and moon and the stars rotate above us just as we see, that they make their annual cycles in such a way that we can calculate days, months, and years of the passage of time, just like in scripture. The Earth in itself works like a well-designed timepiece, and we all know that any timepiece that we can think of has a designer. What if the lie is to hide the existence of that designer? What if they're lying to us about this because they're hiding God? What do you think is going on with Antarctica? I think probably that there is more land beyond Antarctica that would blow your mind, almost like an entire world and resources that we know nothing of, that only special people with a fake royal title can get to, since everything down there is named after a prince or a, a duke Rothschild. or, you know, these yeah. types of things. Yeah, there's Rothschild Island. And, and it was so funny. I saw on Google Maps, there's Rothschild Island, like right next to Antarctica, and people gave it two stars out of five. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we don't like rats out there. I just got one question to ask. Oh, yeah. Flat or a ball? Flat or a ball? What's that? Well, I never feel as breaking round. If we live on a ball, surely we'd have to fly around it. Yeah, it oh, feels like... Right. Flat Not or a ball? Flat. Not a ball. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Uh, no. No? What did you, you see while we were up there? Uh, this is the blue sky. White clouds. Yeah, is it flat or? Pretty flat. Pretty flat? Yeah. Okay, right, thank you. Are you the pilot? Oh, okay. He is. Am I allowed to say hi? Uh, 
Hey guys, I just want to say thanks for the right. smooth flight. All right. I have, did, I have one question. Is there like a specific angle of downward tilt you have to fly at to three degrees? Three degrees for the curvature of the Earth. Oh, for the Earth, because yeah, no, we just fly over over the troposphere. Really? Yeah. But yeah. Do you have to keep like kind of going down because? No, we actually have to lose up. It flies. Yeah. Really. Because I was reading some stuff on the flat earth that made a lot of sense. Have you looked into it? This one? This one? Sorry. On the, I was reading a lot of stuff on the flat earth. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. True, true. It's true? Yeah. Okay, yeah. alright, cool. All right. Hey, God bless, brother. Alright, have a good one. You too. Um, did you notice any curvature while we were up there? Curvature? No. No? There's no, no curvature? It's just all flat. Got a question for you. Hello, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. Um, I'm a fellow, uh, Casey Josh, I'm a fellow, just PPL, no, though, pilot, yeah. Sure. Yeah, nice. I've got a couple of serious questions to ask okay, you. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's a big time. <laughs> curvature. Curvature? Yeah. Yeah. We don't allow for curvature, do we? Yeah, <laughs> for anything, not for you usually. Yeah. No, we're, we're round, we're a disc, aren't we? Oh, round and flat. Yeah. I'm sorry. Hey, look, honestly, quite seriously. Yeah. We are, aren't we? Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up? What's up, pilots? Is the earth flat around? Flat. Thanks. I'm with you. What's up? What's up, pilots? Is the earth flat around? Flat. Thanks. I'm with you.